Hi, today we're going to make a get tables request so we can get a list of available tables inside our Caspio applications. Remember, this is being done by using our Caspio API library. For more information, you can go to futuresuite.net, then go to products, integration, API library, and you will get more information. So let's go to our Caspio account. If you go to data pages, we're going to create a new one so you can see how this call works. In this case, we're going to use an HTML data page. So let's select it here, go to next, next, and then I'm going to remove the HTML editor from this page. As you may know, the Caspio library works over Ajax requests. So in order for us to do those calls, we need to include jQuery library in our website, in this case, in our data page. So I'm going to get the link from here. I'm going to leave all the information and all the links that I'm using down in the comments here. So, okay, we already have the jQuery library loaded here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to have a container so we can display success or error messages from our call. So I have it here. And then we need to have the script that will handle the Ajax call. So let me copy and then paste it here. For this specific call, the parameters that you need to pass over this would be just the profile. I would recommend you to watch our previous videos to learn how to set your profile to authenticate your calls. So on success, we're going to get our container, this one here, and we're going to include the response. Then also if it's an error, then we will display the error message in that container. So now let's go ahead and preview this data page. Now it's running the call. Okay, as you can see, we have only two tables. I have to mention that this depends on how you configure your web profiles. Let me show you here. If you go to account and then access permissions, you will see your profiles. Let's click on permissions. And now I have all these tables in my Caspi account. However, I'm given permissions only to movies table and the other one was users sample. Now see what happens if we give permissions to additional tables. So let's say this one, full control and then this one, full control, apply. And then if we go back to our data page and when we hit preview, now the call, instead of just getting these two tables, it should be getting now four tables. So let's do it, let's preview it. As you can see now, we're getting four tables. So this is how you would use a get tables call and see you in the next videos.